I'm Ann Barshall. I was born in Madison, Wisconsin. My family was a lonely outpost. All of our extended family was on the East Coast. So we had to make pilgrimages here every summer. Those were hard for me. I got motion sick. I now think it's child abuse to force a child to go in an airplane repeatedly when they get sick every time. But it certainly impressed upon me the importance of living on the East Coast, and especially Randolph, and I moved to the East Coast as an adult. My mother's family had a long tradition of vacationing in New Hampshire. My great-grandmother vacationed in Intervale, which was near North Conway, which was the Telluride of that time. <laughs> but my grandmother and her siblings, well, first of all, they cut the first Lion's Head Trail on Mount Washington, which is now the winter route. But she decided to come to Randolph because it was less congested. And my grandmother and her four children used to come up here for six weeks at a time because it was cool here and there was no air conditioning in New Jersey. It was a lot easier to get here then because of the train. You could sleep overnight on the train and now I have to drive up from the New York metro area and I'm not allowed to sleep while I'm driving. <laughs> When I was a child, hiking was emphasized, and my mother would regale my brother and me with tales of how her siblings, Charlotte and Hank, who were more athletic, would pride themselves on beating guidebook time while hiking, while my brother and I were slow, and I have never succeeded in even getting to guidebook time. And even today, when I hike, I constantly berate myself for not being fast enough. Um, I ended up going to Dartmouth because it was near Randolph. My mother and her mother and her two sisters built mm -hmm. the cottage that I now live in, now live in, in the <coughs> summer uh, after having spent time in hotels and other people's cottages in 1950. And they owned it by joint tenancy. So my mother, being the last surviving sister, got it and I now own it by joint tenancy with my brother who lives in California who never comes here. And my kids never come here because they don't really like it. And my cousins still come sometimes to use the cottage, but they don't necessarily go out of their way to include me in their plans. Um, so Randolph has in a way become kind of another lonely outpost for me. And I sometimes think of selling the place but I never quite can. And it's really intriguing thing is that as I've been retiring from being a patent attorney, I've been getting into acting. And acting was something I learned about in Randolph, doing the charades, <laughs> which was always one of my favorite things. And I've been taking classes at the Magnet Theater in New York City where they teach sketch, improv, and storytelling. And that's the closest thing I found in New York City to the charades. <laughs> and so, in a strange way, that little school is Randolph for me. And of course, I also do musical improv, and I did a lot of singing here in the hymn sing up at the Playhouse ac across the street from Mount Crescent. So I bring Randolph with me wherever I go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.